Hello students, today we are going to derive relation between Einstein's A and B coefficient. For that we should know what is Einstein's A coefficient and Einstein B coefficient. Spontaneous and stimulated emission. It is related to spontaneous and stimulated emission. Spontaneous and stimulated Stimulated emission. Einstein uh, described the interaction of radiation. Uh, here we are uh, going to see the interaction of photon with the matter. So Einstein was the first who described the interaction of the radiation with matter through the process of stimulated emission. So before that we should understand what is absorption then later on we will try to understand what is the meaning of spontaneous emission and stimulated emission. Einstein, Einstein was the first scientist. Einstein described the interaction of radiation with matter through through the process process of stimulated emission For that he considered one enclosure enclosure containing assembly of large number of atoms. Consider an enclosure containing an assembly of large number of atoms in the absence of radiation in the absence of any radiation of appropriate very important it cannot be any frequency if uh, we here we should be particular it should be appropriate frequency appropriate frequency there is no way in which an atom can pass from one state to to another. Now we will consider suppose here is one state in which atom is at rest. It is not having any energy and suddenly an electromagnetic radiation fall on this assembly of atom. Initially this atom is in the ground state. After absorbing uh, photon energy photon of energy h nu this atom's energy got raised and it will go to the excited state it will go to the excited state initially atom kaha hota hai ground state mein hota hai uske paas koi energy nahi hoti hai jaise hi uske upar ek electromagnetic radiation of certain frequency koi ek frequency ka us pe jab uh, fall hota hai girta hai to what it do ye kya kar leta hai it absorbs the energy ab iske paas energy hone ke karan ab yo ground state mein nahi jayega it will go it will raise to the excited state to yahan pe do state hai ek hai ground state aur ek hota hai excited state If an electromagnetic radiation of certain frequency, certain frequency is made to fall on 
such an assembly of such an assembly of atoms then the atoms can be raised from the lower state lower state ka humne naam bola tha ground state from the lower state to the excited state by the absorption of radiation here h is planck's constant and nu is frequency here energy is equal to h nu this is photon when a photon falls on atom it will absorb that energy and it will raise to the excited state here as i already told you this is ground state its energy is less compared to the excited state now in the future what wherever i use the notation i will denote the ground state by e1 and the excited state by energy 2 e2 let e1 and e2 be the two energy states of an atom such that e2 is greater than e1 it means means that state this is state 1 state 1 is at lower energy level e1 and state 2 is at higher energy level e2 let n1 and n2 represent the density density here means number of atoms per unit volume uh, uh, n1 represent in the ground state and n2 represent number of uh, atoms per unit volume in the excited state so n1 and n2 represent the density here density means that is number of atoms per unit volume in state 1 and state 2 respectively so now we will see the first is induced absorption this is even is the ground state ground state and e2 is the excited state initially atom is in the ground state and what happen as i already told you frequent uh, photon of energy h nu fall on this atom and atom will raise to higher energy level this is our atom now after absorbing it will go to the uh, excited state this process is called as induced absorption yahan pe इनिशियली एटम ग्राउंड स्टेट में है और यहाँ पे फोटोन ऑफ एनर्जी एच न्यू इस पर फॉल हो रहा है एज ए रिजल्ट एटम क्या कर रहा है इट इज एब्जॉर्बिंग दैट एनर्जी अब उसकी एनर्जी बढ़ गई है सो इट कैन नॉट बी स्टे इन द ग्राउंड स्टेट एंड इट विल गो टू द एक्साइटेड स्टेट दिस प्रोसेस इज कॉल्ड एज इंड्यूज्ड एब्जॉर्बशन इनिशियन द एटम द एटम initially is in the lower 
energy state even can be raised to e2 by absorbing a photon of energy अब ये जो एनर्जी है वो किसके बराबर रहेगा e2 टू माइनस ई के बराबर रहेगा वो जो बम्बार्ड किया फोटोन का एनर्जी सो e2 टू माइनस ई वन इज इक्वल टू एच यू दिस प्रोसेस इज नोन एज इंड्यूस्ड एब्जॉर्बशन ना अभी हमें देखना है कि इंड्यूज एब्जॉर्बशन कौन कौन से चीजों पे प्रोपोर्शनल है इट डिपेंड्स ऑन सो द रेट ऑफ द रेट ऑफ एब्जॉर्बशन एब्जॉर्बशन इज प्रोपोर्शनल टू प्रोपोर्शनल टू फर्स्ट इज एन वन नंबर ऑफ एटम्स इन द ग्राउंड स्टेट पे डिपेंड है सो एन वन दैट इज density of atoms in lower energy state even and अब second एक और चीज पर depend है energy density of the incident radiation अब उस पर कौन सा frequency उस पर बम्बार्ड हो रहा है उस पर भी depend है then hence second is energy density of incident radiation उसे हम denote करेंगे that is u is function of nu the frequency therefore rate of absorption rate of absorption अब ये रेट है आर से हम डिनोट करेंगे अब एटम कहाँ से मूव हो रहा है वन से मूव हो रहा है टू को सो वन टू टू इज डायरेक्टली प्रोपोर्शनल टू हमने बोला एन वन एंड सिमिलरली आर वन टू इज डायरेक्टली प्रोपोर्शनल टू यू ऑफ न्यू मींस आर वन टू इज डायरेक्टली प्रोपोर्शनल टू एन वन यू ऑफ न्यू दोनों मल्टीप्लाई में अब हम इसको यहाँ से हटाएंगे प्रोपोर्शनैलिटी सो वी विल आर वन टू इज इक्वल टू बी वन टू एन वन इन टू यू ऑफ न्यू दिस इज इक्वेशन वन हेंस रेट ऑफ एब्जॉर्बशन दिस इज आर वन टू इज रेट ऑफ एब्जॉर्बशन वेयर वेयर बी वन टू इज कॉन्स्टेंट ऑफ proportionality b12 is known as constant of proportionality the constant b12 is known as einstein's coefficient of absorption आ गया फर्स्ट आइंस्टाइंस कोफिशियंट ऑफ एब्जॉर्बशन नाउ वी विल सी सेकेंड जो प्रोसेस है वो है स्पॉन्टेनियस दस पी ओ एन टी ए एन ई ओ यू स्पॉन्टेनियस एमिशन अब फिर से वी विल सी द सेम डायग्राम एटम इनिशियली यहाँ था उसने एब्जॉर्ब किया ऑफ एनर्जी एच न्यू सो नाउ it after absorption it will go to the excited state excited state it cannot remain in the excited state for longer period of time and what it will do it will come back to the original position fir se niche aa jayega and when it come back it will liberate out the excess energy which it gained H new. This process is called as uh, spontaneous emission. Spontaneous emission. 
so now now the atoms abhi kaha tha initially in the higher state initially in the upper state e2 can drop to lower energy level even by emitting a photon of energy h nu this is known as spontaneous emission now we will see what are the parameters on which the spontaneous emission depends the rate of spontaneous emission depends upon the rate of the rate of spontaneous emission depends on density of atoms ab atoms kitna hai density excited state mein n2 hai isliye wo n2 pe depend hai in the excited state in the excited state but it is not dependent on any energy density yahan pe wo kisi energy density pe depend nahi hai and is independent of energy density u of nu of the incident radiation incident radiation therefore rate of spontaneous emission is equal to ab hum a se denote karenge a ab transition kahan se ho raha hai excited state mein tha atom aur kahan aaya ground state mein therefore a to 1 aur yahan number of atoms tha n2 this is equation number 2 where a to 1 is the einstein's coefficient of spontaneous emission we already saw what is induced absorption we already saw what is spontaneous emission now the third important parameter is stimulated emission स्टिम्यूलेट कोई चीज जब हम उसको स्टिम्यूलेट करते जो नेचुरल ओकरिंग नहीं है बट हम उसको स्टिम्यूलेट करते उसे स्टिम्यूलेटेड एमिशन बोलते हैं सो द थर्ड इज स्टिम्यूलेटेड एमिशन फिर से हम वही डायग्राम एनालाइज करेंगे एटम इनिशियली कहा था ग्राउंड स्टेट ग्राउंड स्टेट को ई वन दिस इज ई टू सेम इस पे हम रखेंगे यहाँ से फोटोन ऑफ एनर्जी एच न्यू एब्जॉर्ब हुआ तो एटम कहाँ चला गया एक्साइटेड स्टेट में आ गया अब एक्साइटेड दिस इज इंड्यूस्ड एब्जॉर्बशन एब्जॉर्बशन अब एटम एक्साइटेड स्टेट में है एंड सडनली ज़्यादा देर वो एक्साइटेड स्टेट में नहीं रहेगा सो इट विल कम टू द ग्राउंड स्टेट बाई एमिटिंग द एक्सेस एनर्जी दिस इज कॉल्ड ए स्पॉन्टेनस स्पॉन्टेनस एमिशन इसी स्पॉन्टेनस एमिशन को हम थोड़ा और एक और देखते हैं अगेन एटम 
इज इन द एक्साइटेड स्टेट बट यहाँ पे एक फोटोन आके उसको फोर्स कर रहा है टू कम टू द ग्राउंड स्टेट पुश कर रहा है टू द ग्राउंड स्टेट यहाँ पे एक फोटोन आया और इसको इंड्यूस किया टू गो बैक टू रिटर्न बैक टू द ग्राउंड स्टेट सो ये एटम के पास ऑलरेडी एक एच न्यू था दिस इसने इसको इंड्यूस किया नीचे आने के लिए ग्राउंड स्टेट में सो इट विल कम टू द ग्राउंड स्टेट by emitting number of photons this process is called as stimulated stimulated emission this is naturally occurring wo khud se aa jayega but yahan kya kar rahe we are taking help of some other photon and we are pressurizing we are we are uh, pushing it this excited atom to come back to we are triggering this atom to come to the ground state so this process is called as stimulated emission i hope samajh mein aa gaya already atom excited state mein hai wo already niche aa jayega by the natural process but हम यहाँ पे एक एक्सटर्नल एजेंट यूज कर रहे हैं टू ट्रिगर दिस एटम टू कम बैक टू द ग्राउंड स्टेट एंड दिस प्रोसेस इज कॉल्ड एज स्टिम्यूलेटेड एमिशन एल्बर्ट आइंस्टाइन पोस्टुलेटेड एन आदर मैकेनिज्म called stimulated emission in 1916 by which an excited atom can return to the ground state ground in this type of emission an incident photon of appropriate very important appropriate word bahut important hai appropriate frequency stimulate or another word is trigger या क्या कर रहा है स्टिमुलेट कर रहा है या ट्रिगर कर रहा है ट्रिगर्स एन एटम अब वो एटम कहा था एक्साइटेड स्टेट में इन द एक्साइटेड स्टेट व्हिच कॉजेस द ट्रांजिशन फ्रॉम ई टू टू ई वन in stimulated emission since the process is forcefully done by the incident radiation the radiated light wave is exactly in phase with the incident one they are in phase with the incident one now this Uh, the incident radiation as well as the other radiation which we stimulated emission the both the lights are in phase with each other so this gives rise to this gives rise to enhanced beam of coherent light ye kya hai this is this gives rise to enhanced beam of coherent light this stimulated emission 
plays an important role in the production of production of laser beam laser beam laser beam can be produced only with the help of stimulated emission not with the help of any spontaneous emission so very important you should remember it laser happens only because of stimulated emission now in stimulated emission the rate of stimulated emission depends on first is now number of atoms in the excited state that is the density density of atoms in the excited state it is n2 number of atoms present so n2 in excited state and second uh, we are uh, triggering the atom with the help of another photon means the energy density again plays a vital role over here the energy density u of nu of the stimulating that is incident radiation incident here we are talking about the atom is in the excited state and this is the incident radiation now so this energy density of this photon is also uh, stimulated emission is also depend on this uh, energy density therefore rate of stimulated emission depends on uh, b now the transition from 2 to 1 and to u of nu where b to 1 is einstein's coefficient of stimulated emission now let us uh, derive relation between einstein's a and b coefficient the total transition rate from the excited state we denoted it by number two to lower state by one we denoted it is the sum of very important sum of the spontaneous and stimulated contribute contributions so the total therefore total transition rate r21 is equal to sum of a21 n2 plus b21 n2 u of nu equation 1 for the system to remain in thermal equilibrium the upward and downward transition rates must be equal very important the upward and downward transition should be equal so r12 is equal to r21 we know that r12 is b12 
n1 u of nu is equal to a21 n2 plus b21 n2 u of nu b12 n1 u of nu is equal to a21 n2 plus b21 n2 u of nu now we will take u of nu to this side b12 n1 u of nu minus b21 n2 u of nu equal to a21 n2 we will take u of nu common b12 n1 minus b21 n2 is equal to a21 n2 u of nu is equal to a21 n2 upon b12 n1 minus b21 n2 now dividing numerator and denominator by n2 a21 upon b12 n1 upon n2 minus b21 this is equation a now according to mb maxwell boltzmann statistics statistics at a thermal equilibrium thermal equilibrium the number of number of atoms of the two energy states are related to each other by the relation very important n2 is equal to n1 e to the power minus energy at higher state minus e1 e2 minus e1 divided by kt where k is boltzmann constant t is the temperature n2 by n1 is equal to e to the power minus e2 minus e1 upon kt we will do a reversal n1 upon n2 is equal to e to the power e2 minus e1 upon kt but we already know that e2 minus e1 is equal to h nu so we will replace e to the power h nu upon kt since e2 minus e1 will always be equal to h into nu where h is Planck's constant and nu is frequency of radiation now we will substitute this equation in equation a substituting b in a so u of nu is equal to a to 1 divided by e to the power h nu upon kt b12 minus b21 which is equal to we will take we will take b12 common so a21 upon b12 so in the inside the bracket it will be 1 upon e to the power h nu upon h e to the power h nu upon kt minus b21 upon b12 this is equation c now we will use uh, the planck's radiation formula directly according to the planck's radiation formula according now according to planck's planck's radiation radiation formula 
we have u of nu is equal to 8 pi h nu square upon c cube 1 upon e to the power h nu upon kt minus 1. This is equation C. Now we will compare equation B and C. What is our equation B? This is a, a, u of nu is equal to a to 1 upon b 1 to 1 upon e to the power h nu upon kt minus b to 1 upon b 1 to. Now from this, this is when compared this is equal to this and this one is equal to this parameter. So on comparing this is I think B. Comparing B and C we get B this is simple B to 1 upon B 1 2 is equal to 1 which implies B to 1 is equal to B 1 2 and now we will compare this to A to 1 upon B to 1 2 is equal to 8 pi h nu square upon c cube or a to 1 is equal to 8 pi h nu square upon c cube into b 1 2. This equation 1 and equation 2 is known as equation 1 and equation 2 are known as known as Einstein's equation Einstein equation which gives Einstein's coefficient.